Um, well, I think that uh, when before the game, we wanted to see the foundations of our game, see the progress. One of the key areas I talked about was the attack, um, and I think in that first half we created a, a load of opportunities in the opposition 22 and uh, test rugby you've got to score when you're there and ultimately we, we came away in that first half with three penalties um, nine points to score so that created we did, we weren't able to create any scoreboard pressure by that so you, you get into the opposition 22 you've got to score so it's one of the big um, big takeaways from it um, talked about our set piece and I thought first half it was strong scrum won penalties uh, line out provided a lot of uh, a lot of real good quality ball for our attack and then ultimately in the midpoint of that second half both of those areas faltered um, as there was interchange on both teams uh, those two areas those two areas in the set piece faltered um, so again I think there was foundations seen in that first half and areas to improve seen in the second half What would you put it down to that you couldn't convert those chances. Well, ultimately, you, you, there was, there was um, uh, a large number of handling errors and, and errors in contact. And whilst our, our breakdown was good the, in terms of against the team, that jackal an awful lot. The that, that breakdown was was a, a reasonable standard. The, the handling errors cost us. You can't couldn't sustain pressure because we turned the ball over. So um, there's areas for us to to work upon and build upon. I think creating that number of entries into the opposition 22 was seen as a step forward. It's certainly an, an, a step forward from where we were. And what we need to do is got to convert those opportunities. Is it a situation where you would expect to see a lot of um, improvement? Well, I think over the coming weeks, the team will sharpen up. We're still in a quite a, a big training phase. I think the team will start to sharpen up through the next few weeks, um, and as we play the next three games together. And you know, from my point of view, I know I'm looking forward to announcing the squad on Monday, and already looking forward to the, the test match against Wales at Twickenham next Saturday. Steve, did the performance tonight change your mind in any way? Um, well, I think right, right now, it, given just post the final whistle and, and having spent the last period of time doing interviews, I think there, there needs to be a period of reflection, which I'll give. Uh, before the game, I was pretty clear. I'll, re I'll reflect on those um, where I where I am in terms of the squad selection and reflect on whether this game changes anything regarding that or clarifies anything. It's another piece of information in terms of the full picture that I'm after, and I was always after the full picture of the of each and every one of the players in order to make the best informed decision. And what was the sort of message to the group? I don't know if you've addressed them properly yet, but has been a message after the game? Does I don't know if the feeling that the gives you and them more information about what still needs to be done? Well, I think it, 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 the, the the game today informs many different elements and it's another step for us as we as we build forward and I said that through our expect us to build through these four games and um, I have spoken to the team and I think everyone knew that the turnovers and the, 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 the count I saw um, I've seen briefly where it'll still be checked was I think 21 turnovers to 9 I think was the, the count very difficult to win test matches with with that that turnover count but what it means is that we we created opportunities in in the opposition 22 what we need to do is make sure we take them how will the process work over the next 36 hours of the players you've got a meeting tonight well you know your squad by the end of tonight and we will tell them before we travel back to Yes, yeah, so I will um, speak to all the players tomorrow morning um, and inform them of the selection and then we will announce that publicly on Monday morning. Are there any injury problems you say or has everyone come through? Um, I've not had a full medical report. You'll be aware that, that Dave Ribbons left the field with an HIA. Um, but in terms of a medical report, I've not received anything else. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks, yeah.